In today's video, I'm going to become Rob Lucy once again, but this time, we're going from the combat fighting style to the legendary god human. Yep, you heard it right. We're unleashing the true power of Rob Lucy, unlocking this style won't be a walk in the park. We have to level up all our fighting styles to a whopping 400 mastery level. That's going to take a lot of time and effort, not to mention gathering a bunch of materials. Let's kick off this journey without any more talking. Wait, I'll also be doing a leopard fruit giveaway, so be sure to join my Discord, subscribe and help me reach 3000 likes on this video. Fun fact, Rob Lucy actually used superhuman, god human just sounds cooler for a video. Since we're starting off with the electric fighting style, let's defeat all the bosses in the second C. I've decided to head to the third C to fight Big Mama because she yields a significant amount of experience points. While we wait for some of the other bosses to spawn, I'll be grinding at various locations in the third C. This will help us accumulate as much belly as possible since God Human costs around 20 million bellies for all fighting styles. Nice, we got mythical kilo fruit. Let's purchase water kung fu, which should be relatively easy to grind. Unfortunately, as we're playing as Rob Lucci, I won't be able to use other fruits like Buddha or Chop, so grinding might take some time. Once again, let's defeat a few more bosses and grind all the NPCs. Thankfully, we have the X2 Mastery Game Pass, or else this would have taken much longer. The NPCs at Candy Cane Land offer a substantial number of mastery levels, so let's take advantage of that. One of my friends said they found a dough fruit, they completely trolled me. Next up, we'll be grinding the Dark Step fighting style. Let's start off by challenging Big Mama and see how many mastery levels we gain from her. She granted us 150 mastery levels, and we have unlocked all the abilities. Wow, this fighting style is actually great for grinding. I'll be clearing out some of the NPCs at Chocolate Land. It's my favorite spot to grind because all the NPCs are conveniently close to each other, making it easier to grind. We obtained the Walmart Leopard. If you have any grinding tips, feel free to share them in the comments below. Also, let me know which part of the video you enjoyed the most. Many of you have requested a new playlist, so I hope you enjoy the music in this video. It's time to move on to the next fighting style. He surprised me by spinning a gravity fruit and wanting to give it to me. How kind of him. Alright, it's time to grind the dragon breath fighting style. I'll be returning to chocolate land once again. We're so close to reaching level 400. It's been well over an hour since we started this fighting style. It would have been much faster with the Buddha fruit. Now, let's defeat Big Mama for the final levels. It's time to move on to the next fighting style. I was going to unlock Superhuman next, but since we're here let's defeat the Ice Admiral first at the Ice Castle. He drops a library key that we'll need for the Death Step fighting style later. I'm going to use some Robux to spawn him, hoping he'll drop the library keys. Looks like I'll have to respawn him again. Let's utilize the Leopard Fruit to defeat him. Yes, we finally got it! Now, let's open the door and speak to the NPC who will sell us the Death Step fighting style later. 
Unfortunately, we won't be able to buy it right now since we don't have any fragments. Unlocking the Death Step fighting style will cost 2.5 million bellies and 5,000 fragments. In total, we'll need about 27,000 fragments if we want to unlock all the other fighting styles. Let's aim to speedrun 27 raids to gather the required 27,000 fragments. The Flame, Ice, and Dark raids are relatively easy to tackle, so I'm going to make the most of them. I want to give a shout out to Suinjin's team for their assistance in the raid. If you'd like to join the team and help out with videos, feel free to join my Discord server and be active there. My friend used a gravity fruit for the raid. Let's complete the remaining 20 to 25 raids and conquer this challenge. That was incredibly easy. Now that we have enough fragments to purchase all the other fighting styles, let's go ahead and acquire the superhuman fighting style. We should be able to unlock superhuman by speaking to a martial arts master who can be found in the snow mountains. This NPC is located within a hidden cave and the cost to gain superhuman is only 3 million bellies. Like always, let's defeat some of the bosses here in the second scene. I won't lie, grinding as a superhuman without the Buddha fruit was extremely hard. And when I say hard, I mean it was super duper hard. I can't wait to move on to the next fighting style.